Hi everybody, this is Chris Glitzos, also known as a Wood Tinkerer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a very special project. It is a key rack, not a coat rack, a key rack, or also known as a key holder. Uh, it's a very simple project, takes a couple of hours to do. I made this one for my daughter-in-law. So with no further ado, let me show you how it's done. As simple as projects get, this is one of the most simplest projects you could do. It takes a couple of hours. You could use an oval cut piece of wood, a rectangular, a square. The preference is all yours. The piece of wood that we decided to use was a pallet piece of wood. It had a nice wood nut in the middle and decided to use the torch to bring out the high contrast and the definition of it. You can use a jigsaw, you can use a scroll saw, even a hand saw. I used a scroll saw to make this design. As everything else requires quite a bit of sanding, sanding does give it a nice feel to the touch. Or you can leave it as plain as it could be to give it that rustic feeling. I like my jobs just to be slightly cleaner. I'm not used to giving rustic feeling yet, but getting close to it. A router is a nice tool. I like to use it to round off my corners. Please be very careful when using a router. It is a tool that has to be respected. A little more sanding to finish out the touches. You can use for this key rack hooks, pegs, get creative even small tree branches will act as hooks to hold the key rings in place. I decided to take a dowel round off the corners to secure the key rings. If you are not using hooks, elevate the board 15 to 30 degrees and drill your holes to the diameter of the peg or the dowel pin that you are using to secure the keys. For finishing touch, you could preserve the wood by giving it a nice clear coat or get creative. Use a paint color of your choice. Some charms add a nice personal touch. The possibilities are endless. 